all right so we are going to be pretty much showing you guys how to two turn the abura or gallon's cousins boss now again the boss isn't as hard as you actually would think and i'm going to showcase those teams for you guys today so hopefully you guys enjoy again you get some nice rewards and you get the i think this is the last um pack i believe you get the last pack for the new artifact card set so do try to grind it out um, you get some S working coins and some more uh, hawk tickets. Somehow you missed out. I still gotta do the other ones, just for like the super awakening coins and stuff like that. But yeah, make sure you guys do that. And we also got the uh, tower of trials as well too. Uh, make sure you clear that. Usually, I'm just gonna let you know this is the team that I use for it. Oh dang, I can't even showcase my team. But I basically just use the Eskinar Sins team. Um, it pretty much pretty much absolutely destroyed all the bosses so yeah let's go into the boss and show you guys how to pretty much grind it all right so this is what i pretty much use for my team for the aburo all right so we are pretty much going to be doing a video on how to farm aburo with pretty much two turns um usually usually it's gonna be two or three turns in terms of the teams i'm gonna be using this one we're going to be using is the human team featuring Eskinor, Roxy, Karash Arthur, and Mikasa. Again, Mikasa is going to be our booster for our human team. So that's going to be really nice. And you want to use this artifact card set. So keep that in mind. Now you could use attack food if you really want to. But it should be all fine. Uh, especially if you got the, I believe the events um, attack boost as well too. It'd be also really nice. So again, this is going to be pretty much us just two turning it. The boss again it's nothing too crazy or anything like that um, usually it takes like probably like one one hit but usually I just spam like all these cards or whatnot usually Roxy just nukes it like that but if you're not confident in your damage then obviously you can use something else and then I usually just use Escanor and whoever gets the attack boost just gets it. I think the low I think it's usually the low is it the lowest CC character that gets the attack boost. Technically it really don't matter. Uh Eskinar can't be stat lord anyways. So he just pretty much nukes the boss regardless. So that is the human team featuring Eskinar. Um again, super fast at clearing the Aburo boss, Gallon's cousin. Alright, so this time around we are going to be using the goddess team, which is gonna be the next one up. And obviously, you want to use the artifact card set this one. Um, so just to get more base stats and we're using this queen elizabeth because you do get more base stats every time a applicable ally uses a skill which being the goddess characters so that's gonna be pretty much it um now again you could use any type of combination of goddess characters but in terms of pretty much doing crazy damage um maya with holy relic is gonna just hit pretty hard um Let's see what this is gonna do. Uh, I'm just gonna go for a boost. All right, and usually Mayo should pretty much nuke with his AOE. Again, it's not fast like the human team, but it's still putting the work. And if you really want to, you can just like pretty much auto. Like you can already see, like I literally could just nuke if I really want to. And then we just gonna pretty much have Mayo just one turn the boss. Again, you can't be stat lord, so technically it does not matter. And Mayo just pretty much destroys the boss. Alright, I'm not gonna lie, I'm curious to see how well the goddess team auto farms. Now this time we're gonna just auto farm. Again, that just shows you guys pretty much to turn it manually. This time I'm using uh, the Queen Elizabeth just because she does do a lot more damage than the old Light Elizabeth. So we're going to see how auto pretty much works for this team. Um, I believe he's usually going to just go for a debuff anyways. So we just pretty much use regular cards. It used Light Elizabeth cards more. You can still see it pretty much did a high amount of damage regardless. So if you really want to, you could auto farm the boss as well. Oh, 
Oh my god, he looks so crazy. And I believe Mayo is going to start attacking right here too. And he goes for a little bit of a cleanse because he we did get debuffed. It's fine. Mayo should pretty much nuke right here. And that is pretty much auto farming in two turns using the goddess team. Uh, if you really want to. All right, let's see what we can do. Um, this time we're using the demon team with LR Zeldris. Um, we also using Dana for Liz, the blue one, just to give us more basic stats and to get the tag boost because of Holy Relic. And I believe you should have it ignites on him. Yep, like that. Let's see the damage though. Pretty much one shots right there. And with this, pretty much have the same thing happen. But because we can't get style, we can just cleanse. We just do this. And that is it. I probably didn't move my cards that many times. But yeah, that is LR Zeldris play. Um, if you want to use that instead. If you want to use the demons. And this time we're going to be using the uh, I can't afford Eskner team. I mean, uh, free to play team. Again, it uses this green Arthur. Again, for some reason, if you some way, some way, uh, somehow do not own a casa, uh, you can use Green Arthur, the the PVE one, and then you use SR Slater with pretty much crits uh, chance rolls. Remember, Slater has the passive where pretty much you get to lower the enemy crit resist based on his crit chance. So it's gonna be really nice if you want to lower his stats and just pretty much just crits. And again, this team is just usually for people who um. Kind of don't have Escanor. Again, it's an okay-ish team. Or Mikasa, right? It's kind of a free-to-play team, you know? Again, if you don't have Mikasa and all the, the good characters and stuff. So, usually... Do some really good damage. Again, Arthur is going to help boost your damage a little bit. And with this, we just kind of proc some slow damage. And with this, uh, I technically could just nuke with Art with um Roxy a little bit too. But it's all fine. If I had my Casa, it'd been way more damage than this. Just letting you know. In case you did own a Casa. And Eskinar should be fine. I'm pretty sure it's the lowest uh character. You see? But it's fine because you're going to get the slow damage from Roxy passive. And then that's pretty much it. So that will be pretty much the Arboro clear with two two turns. Uh, he actually is now a super easy boss now. Which is kind of crazy. But yeah, that is two turns. 